Hey everybody, I am waiting in line to pick up my son after school and I thought it'd be a good time to do a video. Um, I haven't been posting a lot lately just because I've kind of been in that uh, what the hell is wrong with me stage and haven't really been able to provide any information. Um, so I didn't want to just come on and bitch and complain that I didn't feel good. Um, so I have been doing, uh, better in regards to, I mean, I, for anyone who's been following me, you might know where I'm at, but for some of you who maybe haven't been following along, uh, my panic attacks have stopped. Those stopped a couple of months ago. Um, I was having like a lot of anxiety. Like I felt really like shaky all the time and all of my stress responses were coming up and like, I'd have a hard time breathing and I just... But, you know, everyone kept saying, yeah, it's anxiety, it's, a, it's anxiety, but there was no, there's no thoughts behind it. Like, I kept telling everyone, like, this is coming from, like, bottom up, not top down. Like, it's not thoughts and anxiety creating these symptoms, it's something creating the anxiety. I just, I've just been saying this for months. Um, so what's changed lately? Well, I've been talking about, I've been seeing a naturopath doctor for a while. She had me on a high fat high protein diet. Um, I do think that was helping and it's not like a flat keto diet. It's not cutting out carbs. Uh, she's been saying carbs have been really important for me. Just making sure that they're whole grain carbs. Um, and I think that was definitely helping, but it just wasn't doing enough. Um, I recently found out that I have a high sedimentation rate, meaning that I have a ton of inflammation in my body. So where's that coming from? Is that coming from the mesh? Is that coming from somewhere else? Um, still not a hundred percent sure, but I had a friend reach out to me that started talking to me about my gut microbiome and she recommended for me to take the thrive inside test. Uh, you just go online, it's thriveinside.com and, um, you can purchase the test. It's about a hundred dollars. They send it to you and you basically get a sample of your stool and you send it back and they review your gut microbiome. Um, which is like good bacteria, bad bacteria. And um, apparently mine is crap, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, she said my bad bacteria is not terrible, but my good bacteria is not good. So she she's amazing. She has done all this research on her own um, because she was having some issues. So shout out Lauren Neal, thank you. Um, and she's gonna get me on a huge set of pro and prebiotics and I'm going to start that. She also told me that my diet has a lot to do with it. So, um, anti, so I'm going to do an anti-inflammatory diet, which I have researched so much about this and there's so much conflicting information. Um, but she seems to really know her stuff and I'm going to go off what she's telling me. So, um, I can't really hit the diet right now. It's like a full elimination diet. Um, and I am going to, I'll be out of town this weekend, uh, this coming weekend. And then we will also be out of town for spring break. So really unrealistic to hit a super, um, constricted diet at this time. So right now I'm just going to be cutting out processed foods, sugar, dairy, and gluten, um, which I've already been cutting out sugars. Um, this week I added, like, I haven't really been eating gluten. I was eating dairy because I was told to eat a high fat diet. Um, so I need to cut that out now. And, um, yeah, so going to start that in April. So I'll keep you all updated on that. Um, also today I went and saw a myofascial release specialist, which I had seen once before, I know about myofascial release because I do a little bit of it myself. Um, I've taken some classes on it. It's really a fantastic technique. It really targets fascia. Um, I will say this was my second session with this gal and uh, myofascial release is so much more than I even realized it was. Like they, they get so much deeper than I have taught because I've only taken the initial classes. I'm still in like, when I do it, it's really light. Um, but I went in there today and I just told her everything that's going on and I just said, you know, I think my hip flexor has something to do with this because my hip flexor was so, so bound up. Um, 
I mean, just crazy bound up. Like if you could just palpate it. So she got into that hip flexor and man, was it intense. Um, but we, we talked a lot about how the hip flexor, it just has a strong connection to, you know, it's a strong connector to the rest of the body, um, connects to your diaphragm and just scar tissue in general can just travel up your body. So if it starts in my hip flexor and my abdomen, it can go all the way up. I mean, it, I don't know if it's fully attaching to, you know, the fascia in my brain, um, creating some of this brain fog, but she also kind of got into there into the tentorum cerebelli, the fox cerebri, um, or tentorum cerebelli, fox cerebri. Those are some fascial planes that are in your brain. Um, I work with those with a little bit of craniosacral therapy too. Um, myofascial release specialists can work on that. So uh, just all information that I think is valuable to anyone else that might be experiencing something like this. Um, so kind of a lot on here. Um, message me with any questions. I Who knows if this is all gonna work, um, but I finally feel like I'm on the right path. Um, and because I just kept saying, you know, this is not just anxiety. Um, this is not just depression. This is something else is going on. So I think I'm finally getting to the root of them. And hopefully I'm on the healing process. And maybe I can help others with anything like this in the future. Um, so have all everybody have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.